Another challenge for you to find the correct statistical test. The company who supplies the artificial knee joints to your practice has a new design, and they claim that this new design will reduce the time it takes patients to recover full mobility. So you would like to actually look at some patients who have both the older design knee and the new designed knee and try to measure the time that it takes for each patient to recover full motion. Then you want to determine whether or not the new design truly does reduce that time that it takes for patients to recover full mobility. Now, you're going to have to figure out the correct test, so let's ask our three questions. The first question is to think about our data that we're collecting. Is the data quantitative or categorical? Please pause the video while you decide. This data is quantitative. The data that you are actually collecting is measurements of the time it takes for full recovery of motion. So that is a time, that is a measurement. This is definitely quantitative. Now in the next question, we want to know how many samples of data are we collecting. Again, think about what we're doing here. Think about the way we described what we're doing and now answer this question. Please pause the video. In this case, we have two samples of people, those getting the newly designed knee and those getting the older design for the knee. Our test group would get the new design, our control group would get the old design. So we definitely have a two sample situation. It is not two sample special because there's no link, no connection between the people getting the new knee and the people getting the old knee. It's not like I'm doing siblings in each group, one brother in one group and one brother in the other or so on or sister. Now let's ask ourselves the third question. Are we comparing the data or are we using the data to look for a relationship between the two sets of data? Again, pause the video and when you're ready, move on. In this case, we are trying to compare our two sets of data. Compare the mean recovery time of the control group who got the old design knee to the mean recovery time of the test group who got the new design knee. So now that we've answered those three questions, we're ready to answer the big question. What is the appropriate test to use? Go ahead and pause, and when you're ready, move on. The appropriate test is a two-sample t-test. We are comparing means, that's a t-test. We have the two independent samples. This is a two-sample t-test to compare the mean recovery time of the test group to the mean recovery time of the control group.